Today we have actually it's partly cloudy day. It's actually fairly warm for January. It's up in the 60s. But if you have mid 40 temperatures, it's fine to install a roof if you have rising temperatures. If you got, you know, if preferably you have a nice sunny day and you have very little wind. Now let me explain to you: if you could have 40 and climbing and be a windy day, and your surface temperature, your shingles are actually going to be very cool, cooler than the air. Therefore, you should not be installing that roof system. So there's a few factors in there that take some uh, play and dictate whether you can and cannot. Uh, but generally, if you have sunny, you have 40 degrees in climbing and very little wind, you should be fine to install a roof system in the winter time. Installing roofs in the winter time. Now here are some of the issues that you could have, or actually here's some of the benefits. Let me tell you some of the benefits first, because uh, in the winter time, it's kind of hard to dictate for one on what temperatures you should be installing your roof. Now I can tell you that if you got 40 degree temperatures, as long as it's climbing, you got a sunny day with very little wind, you'll be fine in the winter time for the most part to install that roof system. Now yes, you want it to be hotter, but one of the benefits is, or a few benefits is, for one, the crew won't be exhausted, they'll have more energy because they're not that hot, but another one is, you know, in the summertime, you scuff the shingles. So in the wintertime, this, your shingle is going to be a little more durable to that, so you won't have scuff marks on your roof system. But when installing a roof in the wintertime, you always want to keep in mind that depending on the temperatures, your shingles may not seal properly right away. Especially if you install it with, you know, 40 degree temps, let's say it was in the high 40s for that day, even though it's sunny, your shingles won't be laying flat, and they may not be until a few months or spring or summer till they actually do lay flat. Now this roof system was done in 60 degree temperatures in January. Now for the most part, it's starting to seal down a few areas. If, if you see me lifting here, you can see it's already sealing down. So this is a very good shingle actually for this region because it starts to seal. Right here is a little weak, but I could feel that over here is sealed down. And there's a little waviness. There's, there's some that aren't actually laying uh, flat in here, but they will over time. Um, you know, there's a few sections in here where you'll see kind of some slight imperfections, but I could feel on here, it'll be slightly wavy. This one's not exaggerated, it's not bad at all. And that's I told you because it was done in 60 degree temps, but if it was in the mid to high 40s, this would be a lot wavier and it will take a little bit uh, to lay down. So you gotta make sure if a homeowner needs it done, if they're selling the house and they need something done right away, uh, they need to be aware that, hey, that roof system may not seal properly until a few months down the road, depending on your area and your region and how much, uh, you know, cold or hot you have in that section. But, you know, you, it's perfectly fine to install them year round. You know, again, depending on your location. In this case, it worked perfectly. We had six degree temperatures. So, I mean, for that in January, that's that's perfect. That's awesome. I mean, the crew was happy. They were able to knock this out pretty quick and the shingles are actually sealing down very well. And today and tomorrow is gonna be in the 60s again. There's no reason this roof system should not be sealed almost completely by then. All right, installing roofs, if you got 40 degree temperatures and climbing, it's perfectly fine to install the shingles. Uh, like I said, it may take a little longer to seal down. Uh, one thing you will want to keep in mind, especially if you have about a few feet or even a foot or a few inches of snow on the ground, any debris that lands on that or granules, you will not be able to pick up until that snow melts. Now, further up north, I know you won't be able to do that for a few months. In Colorado, it'll just be a few days. Now, there is a solution for that, though. You could easily lay down some tarps, especially better condition, so you don't have holes where all the uh, debris is falling through there. It'll catch all that, and you won't have that issue. So, there, there, there could be an issue, but there's a solution for it for you, and it's perfectly fine, like I said, to install them in 40 degrees in climbing temperatures.